How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of two roads up in this piece in the form of their um, Area 2 series, which is really just a whole nother brewery, but I still call them two roads. This is their second life. It's American Wild Sour Ale with black raspberry and cherry. Um, bottle number 986, 5.5% um, alcohol by volume. And here it says, level up your sour game. We took black raspberries from our black raspberry Lambic and the Monter, Monter Morrissey, Mornacy, I suck at saying that word. Sour cherries from our creek and gave them life. Well, second life that is. We combine a fruit and a fooder with a two year old experimental brew, unique to area two. After eight more months of aging, this wild beer is the ultimate sour experience of black raspberry, sour, cherry, and funk. Hey boys, looks like a video game. That's on purpose. And uh, yeah, this is my first area two. No, I've had to have something from these guys before. But um, this comes courtesy of my boy, Steven. Bottle opener. Um, I took my bottle opener off. What can we work with here? Do I have anything that will work for a bottle opener? I don't want to use my car keys. Yeah, I'll just use, use my work key. See if we can get that to, to function as a bottle opener. But yeah, so Steven sent this off, and I am very grateful. I'm not going to be able to do this with that, am I? God damn it. I know there's some way to do it with a ring. Anything can be a bottle opener if you really try hard enough. So, I know somebody showed me a trick with this once, but you can't get the leverage you need on it. Let's try this, actually. This might be the ticket. Okay, here we go. I probably have a bottle opener somewhere right in the barn, but I want to do this MacGyver style. See, I can't get the leverage on this. Pooper maroon. Oh, dude, no beer review, guys. <laughs> Anyway, let me go find a bottle opener. We'll be back in a second. Didn't find a bottle opener, but I found a pry bar. Let's see. There you go. That was actually probably better than a bottle opener, to be perfectly honest with you. So we'll see what's what. Anyway, give this a nice pour. Uh, we'll see. Phil Markowski, head brewer at Two Roads who I assume heads up this program because this is his wheelhouse. We should see where the sucker lands. Man, that is dark. Like, dark. Like, dark. Like, that's how dark that thing is. It looks beautiful. Yeah, strawberry quick head on that sucker. Surprisingly clear. It looks like really kind of thick and turbid, but it's not. It's clear. It's just that's how dark the fluid is. Very much more low level kind of darkness on that sucker. That strawberry quick head, I mean, it looks the part of all those berries. You're talking about a second use raspberry and cherry and it's getting that dark, so impressed. Let's put it that way. See if you get a nose. I'm getting all of the Wisconsin Belgian red vibes from New Glarus on this because it, that fruit is big. Getting a big cherry note on there, you're getting that raspberry coming through, but there's this is big sweetness on there. So I think it's gonna be a really tart, but sweet beer at the same time. So you're looking at Jolly Rancher level stuff um, with a big sweetness and just that rich cherry. I mean, the cherry is the name of the game here. I mean, not that the raspberries aren't showing here, but man, this cherry is bold. It's big, I'm absolutely blown away. But this is your second use cherries? Like, serious? What's that freaking creek gonna taste like then? Because this thing is absolutely off the charts, cherry forward. I'm super excited for this one. Yeah, dive in. Cheers. Okay. Not nearly. Not nearly as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. I just had this kind of, this hint these indicators that typically I know, you know, people bitch about not smelling sweet, but you can detect sweet through smell because you've been trained your whole life to do such things. And it just had those indicators of being really, really sweet. Now it is sweet. It's just not that crazy ultra level sweet that you get from like the Wisconsin Belgian Red from New Glarus. Um, actually finishes quite dry. Um, that's probably the amount of time all these ingredients have spent time in wood in a fooder. Those cherries are still coming strong, but that raspberry has actually picked up the pace and is equal to, if not a Scotia head at this point. It's got a nice tartness to it. It's not over the top. It wants to be cheek pulling, but it doesn't get that aggressive. The, um, that oak, that dryness and how dry it finishes is so nice, especially because it does have enough sweetness 
to hold up to that. So you get that combination of that tartness and that sweetness and you get that kind of oaky tannin kind of dryness in it. It's quite nice. You can get a little bit of hints of vanilla off of the wood. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I was preparing myself for that big sweet component, but it never came, but I'm digging this right now. Very organic. You're almost getting like the seeds and stems that would come with the cherries and that raspberry kind of floating around there. There's an acidity to it because I can feel my body wanting to kind of give me warning signs that our heartburn abound. It's not gonna happen, uh, but I like this. This is really, really tasty. I'm still blown away. Even though the cherries aren't as big as they were in the nose, as they are in a taste, at least impact wise, I'm very, 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 very blown away that these are second use fruits because of how vibrant and how rich. I mean, look at that. Look at how rich and dark and red that beer is. Like I said, if there was no head on that, that could be confused with a Merlot. That's how rich and dark that is. And it's a really tasty beer. I mean, uh, listen, at the get, I pretty much said, you know, Phil Markowski knows what he's doing. This is kind of his jam. He's literally wrote and written a book on Saison and funky beer. So I expected this to be good. And it was a fun journey because it, it came off different than what I expected based off of the nose, but good nonetheless. You know, um, you, you expect something... And if you hit the mark there and get exactly what you get on the nose, that's a very fun thing, especially if it's as vibrant and as rich as that nose is on this beer. Um, but this is quite a bit different, but not in a negative way, in a, just an alternate kind of way, in a very tasty way. It leans heavily into those fruits. It's sour with a bit of acidity, but nothing too over top, not even close to enamel ripping on this, and just comes off as a really tasty, really well done beer. I dig it. I think it's delicious. Thank you very much, Stephen, for uh, offering this one up to the uh, massive beer gods. Jeez. Oh. I bet the massive beer gods. Not, I'm, not mass, I'm not a god. I mean, in my own mind, I am, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's talk about it. Is this one of the better fruited sours than that is late? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even speak to this. Yes, it is. And it's close to the top of not getting into Mount Rushmore level. I prefer this, which is a skosh more sweetness, to be perfectly honest with you, especially with how drying and how oaky this beer is. I think it could hold up that, but it's quite tasty nonetheless. The thing I didn't uh, remember to say is this is, again, 5.5%. Drinks way above its sweet class, so that's very fun. Um, so yeah, it is one of the better ones I've had as of late. Valued availability on a sucker, I have no idea. I'm guessing these bottles are between nine to $15. Let me know what's what, Steven, and leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like fruit, organic OG style fruiting in your beer. You like Belgian beers, you like French Lambic or French beers, and you like all that just rich kind of traditional Belgian French style fruited beers. While this is an American American beer and has an American influence to it, it definitely stays true to those roots in a very tasty way. So if you like those beers, you like this. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying Yeah, a little bit of a second two road. Why do I keep forgetting the goddamn name? Area two. Jesus. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.